Lord Jesus. We're going to talk about Jesus. We're going to talk about <laughs> Lord Jesus, guys. We're going to talk about Jesus. For one of the first times on this podcast, we're going to talk about Jesus. Oh. Hi, and welcome to the Savage Podcast. I'm Rose, also known as Cheap Lazy Vegan on YouTube. And I'm Daniel, one of your favorite guest stars on Cheap Lazy Vegan's YouTube channel. We're two friends who love to talk about the latest trending topics. So get comfortable and join us while we give our savage take on just about everything. You are currently listening to the previous episode of this podcast, but if you would like to listen to this week's episode and get some exclusive content, go over to patreon.com slash the savage podcast. Hello. Hey, everyone, <laughs> and welcome to a pre-recorded this week's episode Yay. of the Savage Podcast. And Rose, what do we like to do on our pre-recorded episodes? <laughs> we like to do the lazy content, the- which is, am I the asshole? And the answer usually is yes, you are the <laughs> asshole. Um, but before we get started, guys, as <laughs> always, check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash the Savage Podcast. <laughs> the Savage. Um, a, we, get, we, we release exclusive content on there every single month. Um, all the episodes are there a week earlier than everybody else gets it. And also... <clears throat> all the content on there. It'd be ad free. Thanking you, Rose. <laughs> It'd be ad free. So check it out. It's The links are in the show notes. Um, and go on over there. It's a fun little community. Mm. Community. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're doing a pre-recordation. Yeah. And, <laughs> and for those listeners. I'll be hyper. <laughs> you are. You are hyper. Um, for those listeners that don't know what <clears throat> Am I the Asshole is, Rose, because I don't yeah. know where they've been, but they just are new, new, new to the to listeners. The podcast. Yeah. What do you want to say about it? So basically, it is where we react to the subreddit, Am I the Asshole, which is basically where people submit stories that happened in their personal lives, and they ask people, was I being an asshole? Am I the asshole? And would I be the asshole? Would I be the asshole? And we uh, give our verdict. And <clears throat> also, it's quite funny. You know what my favorite ones? And I hope we get one of these today, guys. Mm. My favorite ones is when somebody, you know, submits their story, right? Everyone in the comment section, you're the asshole. X, Y, Z reason. <laughs> you shouldn't do this. One of them was like this lady that was like going to confront her cat sitter um, <clears throat> because she was caught her talking badly about her on camera. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And everyone in the comments is like, don't do it. It wasn't that bad. Blah, blah, yeah. blah, blah, blah. And then the lady doubled down. I love a double love down. love a double down, Daniel. Honestly, guys, what really gets me going, gets me riled up <laughs> is when somebody's getting direct feedback from multiple people yeah. and then they double down. Because like, yeah. my thought process is like, I mean, I guess there's situational stuff, right? But if I'm putting something out there and like all of my friends and family and everybody I know and all these random people online are all like, Daniel, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. And I'm just like, Fuck all y'all. I'm, double, I'm doubling down. <laughs> I'm doubling down. I'm going to do it anyway. Yeah. Why ask for feedback? Exactly. Why are you Why are you even on Am I the Asshole? If you don't care what other people <laughs> have to say and you're like, you know what? Everyone thinks I'm an asshole, but I don't care because I'm going to just do it anyway, which makes you even more of an asshole. God damn, Daniel. Mm-hmm. All right. So, Rose, I'm going to let Shall you- Shall we jump in? I'm, I'm going to let you start because- oh, Should I use my phone? It'd be a bit- uh, It'd be a bit situational. It's, 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 it'd be a bit of a situation, let's say, here. We can use both. Let's see what what we feel comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna pick the first one. Is that is that what's happening? Oh, this is interesting, and it's okay. quite topical because it's about veganism. God damn. Am I the asshole for bringing my own food to someone else's wedding? Oh, dun dun dun. <laughs> Some <coughs> friends of my husband got married recently. They are veggie, which means vegetarian, and had a mostly vegan menu. I'm a meat eater. <gasps> oh. But I like veggie and vegan food. I wasn't particularly keen on their menu, though. I thought it was going to be the other way around. I thought mm. she was going to be a vegan. Yep. Going to a meat-eating wedding. This That's a, a little meat, bit different. Meat eater going to a vegan wedding. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's a vegan wedding. Let's right, see. Right. Okay. So she does like veggie and vegan food. I wasn't particularly keen on their menu, though. I It was dishes like burnt aubergine, I think eggplant in America. The menu itself described it as burnt. I'm not being rude. Okay, I'm sure there was other things on the menu. (laughs) Jesus fucking Christ. Usually, I just eat whatever. Really? But I'm pregnant. Okay. Mm. Oh, here we go. (laughs) But I'm pregnant and have been getting these horrible bursts of really intense hunger. When I want mostly carbs and there weren't really on any on the menu. Uh, That's really surprising for a vegan vegetarian Uh, wedding. Um, there were some cheeses, but the staff couldn't say if they were pasteurized or not. So I couldn't have them. Is that a thing? I think, pregnant I think, people? Yeah, okay. I think they're not supposed to have like pasteurized okay. cheese or they're supposed to have pasteurized cheese. <clears throat> I can't remember which one. Right. On top of this, <clears throat> on top of this, the wedding was three days. 
Oh, okay. So I was really worried about what I could eat. My solution was taking some food with me. I took a small mini fridge to have in my room and brought stuff to make sandwiches and a few snacks. When I was hungry, I'd pop to my room and have something to eat. Someone asked why I was going to the room and I mentioned I was just getting something to eat. This got back to the bride who said I was rude and implying the catering wasn't good enough. Am I the asshole? A lot of a lot of uh, different things here. <clears throat> yes. So at first, in first glance, I was like, you're she's the kind asshole. Of, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Like you're being fussy. But then she's pregnant. Yeah. So that's, you know, that's something to take into consideration. Uh, I don't know what it's like being pregnant, but I imagine it's not uh, easy. It's not a walk in the park. No. And, and you know what? Pregnant people, they do get cravings. They do, yes. you know, and I can see what her... And I think actually the way that she did it is a very tasteful way to do it mm. instead of like we've, we've, you know, weddings are always a hot topic here on Am I the Asshole? Yeah. We've had situations where people have literally like snuck in like sausage rolls and we're like feeding guests sausage rolls. Like, come on, that's ridiculous. Yeah. But she actually removed herself from the situation. Yes. Went to her room to quickly have a snack and then came back. I think that's well appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's fine. <clears throat> and I think, I think you wouldn't be the asshole. What I would have said though is maybe don't tell people. Like if someone asks like where you're going, maybe just like, oh, I just got to quickly check something in my room or yeah, you know yeah, what I mean yeah, just yeah. to like but at the end of the day I don't think it's <clears throat> such a big deal like so what someone's going to the room to have a snack like yeah and the wedding being me. three days yeah I'm guessing why it's like is a it yeah. <clears throat> are you okay <laughs> yeah I'm guessing it's like a destination where like the first day maybe it's like a little reception the second day is like the full wedding with the dinner and then the third day I don't know what the fuck yeah okay but um, we're going to find out soon. We'll be going to a destination. Oh, God damn. I'll be excited. Me too. God damn. I got <gasps> to gotta start looking and booking. Oh, God damn. I know we should we should have a discussion about that. In August. OK. <laughs> anyway. Early August. Um, <coughs> <laughs> Sorry. Mm. So uh, first comment. Not the asshole. You are pregnant. Eat what you want to eat. You mm. didn't bring out a full meal. See, that's the thing. If she brought out the food at the table, that yeah. would be a different story. Then I'm like, come on. Yeah. But you went to the room. I think that's completely fine. Yeah. I think because too, also, if you're like, if it was, let's say it was my wedding. Uh, first of all, I wouldn't be feeding people at my wedding anyway, because I'm doing it eloping. So, um, <laughs> but if I was. Of course, you're not going to feed people, no, Daniel. No, I'm not. I'm cheap. Damn, Daniel. Okay, I'm not spending that kind of money. <laughs> and I'm, people I, bring monies to use when you get married. Because they're supposed to pay for themselves for the wedding, Exactly. Right? Oh. You know what? I have been partaking in the giving side. I would like to partake in the receiving side mm -hmm. for, for a fucking change, you know? <laughs> damn, are you going to have a big wedding? Maybe. God damn. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to say, gifts, mandatory. <laughs> Especially those bitches I went to the wet. No, I'm just kidding. When, what, when is it going to be, Rose? I might be out of town. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> so like the thing is, <laughs> if you were to bring your food and like have it on the table, even myself, like, and I don't easily, I feel like I don't easily get offended. I would be a little bit pissed off. Cause I'd be like thinking like I'm paying all this money to feed all of my guests and you're like eating something else in front of everybody else as if it's not good enough. You know what I mean? Versus taking yeah. yourself out of the situation, going to your room, making a quick sandwich, doing whatever. Like I wouldn't even care. Like I'd just be like, cool. Yeah. Like whatever. Or like, <clears throat> I think like if you were to want, like if you have an issue, um, I guess it is kind of rude to be like, this is like whatever. But like, I think if you're pregnant, mm. if you, if it was a one day <clears throat> wedding, right? Yeah. Not like a three day wedding and there was like a dinner. Well then I guess it's just one meal. Exactly. Like, and also like she's, she's eating the food that's there, right? Like it doesn't say that she's yeah, not yeah, yeah. eating the food. Yeah. She's just kind of like some of the food she's <clears throat> a little bit hesitant on cause she's pregnant. She's like, oh, I don't know about the cheese. I can't have it. Yeah. The, the burnt eggplant might like, you know, make me feel sick or whatever it might be. Yeah, yeah. But I'm sure she's eating some of the other stuff. She just brought extra stuff for herself. Because she was concerned that she wouldn't be getting enough yeah. food. Yeah. Why do they care? Like, I know. <laughs> just be like, hey, whatever, do whatever you want. Especially like if someone tattletailed right back to the bride. Yeah. Like, I'm like, don't oh, come tell on. the bride. If so, like, is the wedding that boring? Exactly. You got to talk about some some pregnant <clears throat> lady going back to eat some snacks. Like, if someone told me, <laughs> oh, I'm going to my room to have a quick snack, I'm not going to be like, immediately, okay, I need to tell the bride that, that Rose is going back to her room to have a fucking snack. <laughs> God forbid. <laughs> Someone wrote, not the asshole. Jeez, based on the title, I thought you were going to say you brought a steak to the table. Yeah, this is what yeah, I thought. that's what I thought as well. And ate it right in front of the bride at the reception. See, that's the thing. It's like the fact that they stepped aside, didn't bring meat to this the veggie wedding. Mm. Like that, like for me, that's what I thought was going to happen. Yeah. But that didn't happen. So you kept your room, food in your room and snuck off to eat private when you got hungry. No poor delicate vegan had to witness you eating meat. Oh my God. Fuck this person. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, if you're at a vegan wedding or a vegetarian wedding, it is actually fucking rude to bring meat to the table. Yeah. So it's not about being fucking poor and delicate and vegan. Exactly. Okay. It's about fucking just <clears throat> straight up 
ethics and the fact that they don't want meat at their wedding. That exactly. is completely fine as well. Well, and also it's like it's like similar to like if somebody's like, hey, I don't want pork <clears throat> at my wedding. Exactly. Or I don't want whatever at my wedding for whatever reason. Exactly. Like it's their wedding. Exactly. And they're paying for the food. So fuck off. Um, And it's what a weird vegetarian wedding, though, because the three mains were burnt aubergine on spiced tomato glaze, butternut squash, red onion, spinach pie and curried roasted cauliflower. Why? OK. Are you getting a non-vegan chef to cater your fucking <clears throat> wedding? Because, Sounds like it. Yeah. Because that's like, kind you're of, not going to be full. Where's mm, the protein? Exactly. That is the kind of menu that a non-vegan, non-vegetarian would fucking mm. make. Okay. Where be the protein? Because let me tell you, if I have a wedding, there's not going to be fucking burnt aubergine as the main. That <clears throat> might be a that might be a starter. I know it will be the main. It will be Ro- one of Rose's favorites, <laughs> which is a cauliflower steak. <laughs> oh, oh, do not get me started on the cauliflower steaks mm-hmm. mine's gonna be there's gonna be tofu there's gonna be fucking chickpeas there's gonna oh. be fucking beans all over the goddamn place God maybe damn. even some fake meat in there God i don't fucking damn. know there's gonna be there's gonna be filling shit not fucking vegetables on a goddamn plate i'd be excited Rose. will it be a korean feast i korean? thought you wasn't coming well depends what kind of food you're serving <laughs> <laughs> oh maybe a korean feast God damn Ooh. you could do like a big korean thing Ooh. sharing dishes Ooh. You could do some bulgogi. You could do yeah. some like, you know. Bakboke. It'll be vegan. It'll be vegan as hell. Exactly. But they'd be exciting. It'd be delicious and there vegan. There might be some kimchi there. Goddamn, there might be some kimchi there. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. God damn. And ain't no meat coming to my goddamn wedding. Well, I'll just be eating that in my hotel room, you know. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> All right, you want to pick one? Yeah. I can just go in here. Okay. This is fine. Goddamn, you, you pick one already. <laughs> I did. Okay, guys. <clears throat> <laughs> Would I? Oh, mm. perfect, Rose. That'd be mm. perfect for my old eyes. <laughs> would I? I say that. <laughs> would I be the asshole, guys, for excluding my son-in-law's kids from coming on our boat? God, there's so much wedding drama, kid drama, family drama, family drama. I mean, what else is there in life, Rose? That's true. <laughs> um, I, forty-three male, have two. <laughs> <laughs> I, forty-three male, I have two kids. <laughs> Have two kids, both 12, 12 year old females, with my wife, forty two female. So since it's summer, we've been going, <clears throat> we've been going on a boat we own for the past few weeks. And the last time we offered to take my wife's, my wife's sisters. Are you okay, Daniel? <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. My wife's sister's kids with us, and it was a complete shit show. First, our son, our son, their son in law. No, sister in law. Sis, sorry, sister. Because she's, uh, yeah, at first we thought it was son in law, but I then did. she's talked about sister. Right, sister in law. Sorry, guys. So would I be the asshole for excluding my (laughs) sister-in-law's kids from coming on our boat? So first, the sister-in-law didn't inform me her kids, nine female and seven male, are pretty seasick and they threw up on my back. Oh, no. But that was the least of the problems. They kept trying to jump into the water for some reason, completely ignoring water skiing instructions, which I explained six to eight times, and almost pushed my daughters off the boat while we were moving as a quote unquote joke. Oh, I'd lose my shit. I know. When we got back, the sister-in-law lectures me about how I could how how I could let her kids get seasick, which rem- which remember I wasn't aware of. Lucky for them, my wife carries those white little pill things. Um, <clears throat> then the kids complain I didn't let them do anything, which is untrue because they gave water skiing a try. They hated it. They also did tubing, which they liked. That resulted <clears throat> in another telling off from my sister-in-law. Planning on going away this weekend, and I'm planning on taking my own sister's kids, two kids, my sister and her husband, and my wife's way older niece and another sibling. Would I be the asshole? My wife thinks it's kind of mean, even though I really don't want to have to deal with that with that again. No, it's your fucking boat. Exactly. And those kids sound fucking awful. <laughs> I know. They sound honestly terrible. <clears throat> also, the sister-in-law sounds kind of terrible. Oh, my God. The sister-in-law sounds awful. So, like, you literally go on no a... No wonder the kids are fucking awful. I know. Like, you literally go on a boat, right? And you are lecturing the person who owns who the boat. Brought you to the boat. Exactly. On how how could he let uh, her kids get seasick? What do you mean? He's, how can you let people get seasick? Exactly. Seasick is not like was he driving <laughs> the boat insanely? Yeah. Like what was going on? Like literally, this is not his problem. Like yeah. this is your problem. People get seasick all the time. 100%. Especially children. Ch- children get seasick. And I would have been like, well, why didn't you bring motion sickness pills if you yes. know that your kids get fucking seasick? Yeah. No, definitely not the fucking asshole. Because let me tell you, I also <laughs> don't, I don't generally get seasick. However, oh, of course you don't, Daniel. Mm-hmm. You're made of fucking steel. However, 
I did go on a quite a turbulent uh, boat journey when I was in oh, Thailand God, recently. Oh, God, in Thailand. And I did take some, whatever, the gravel or whatever. Thank the, God we took it. Oh, my God. And it was like, I, I felt like wonderful. But did you feel wonderful? Well, no, I, I, I jumped off the boat and kissed the land as soon as we were on it. Oh, but I've never been more thankful to be on land. Oh, my God. I know. So basically, the boat ride was like a, this speed boat. And it was going, first of all, a speed boat for like an hour. Yeah. It was already kind of insane. Yeah. And this is like in Thailand. So we were like going like kind of like island hopping a little yeah. bit. So we the weather took a turn. <clears throat> yeah, so we went from Phuket to Koh P, which was like an hour, mm. and going there was already kind of bumpy. Yeah, so we're already like, oh my god, it's like kind of bumpy. Like, we're like, it's kind of scary. scary. And then we got to this like, <laughs> we got this funny because we got into this like calm lagoon area because it was like sheltered a bit. So nice. So we got in there and all of us were like, whoa, that was a boat journey. Yeah, you know? we were that all was like, the oh craziest boat journey. And yeah, little- we were like, that was the craziest boat journey we've ever had. Yeah, little did, little we, did know. we know, we would be having the craziest journey like right after ten times that. Yeah. 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 So then afterwards we were like chilling. We had a great day. We had like, you know, some a nice meal, blah, mm. blah, blah, blah. Went snorkeling. It was fantastic. Yeah. And then it starts to look a little stormy. Like a, not not just a little bit. It was like <laughs> the, the, we were snorkeling and then the yeah. guides were like, Hey guys, everyone back on the boat, we're leaving, we're leaving. And I was like, Okay, why are they like ushering mm. us off so quickly? It seems like a, it got cut a little bit short. And I looked behind us and there was this <laughs> fucking huge black <laughs> ominous cloud. And I was just like, <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> So we got on the boat and then we're taking the speedboat. And again, yeah. it was already bumpy. And yeah. then imagine it's now windier yeah. and it starts raining and it's a fucking storm. And it gets and crazy. It is, I literally seriously thought this boat is going to fucking flip. It's going to capsize. And this is like during my Thailand trip <laughs> like that I was hosting. Yeah. Okay. So I brought all these people here and I was like, fucking hell. I am just sitting there hanging on for dear life. Just Screaming. thinking, just like envisioning the news article that yeah. would uh, surface the next day <laughs> Canadian YouTuber Canadian vegan YouTuber mm-hmm. uh, drowned along with uh, however how many people were there, there was like, like 12 of like us ten, I think yeah. 12 with, 10 or 12 fans with fa- <laughs> yeah and the scary thing too because like we were island hopping but there was points like normally you can always kind of see where the land is yeah the thing that tripped me out is like I couldn't see where the land was. So even if yeah. the boat capsized, because I'm a pretty strong swimmer. You are. Although the water was fucking crazy. It was so insane. It would have been terrifying. Yeah. I would have had to like sling Rose over a shoulder and like try to fucking <laughs> well, paddle. You would, say, you would save me, Daniel. For as long as I could. Okay. And then I'd be like, okay, no, no more. I gotta, I gotta save myself gotta save first. save myself. <laughs> if, air, if airplane videos taught me anything, it's you put your, fir- your mask on first before your child's. Okay. <laughs> It's not an airplane, Daniel. It'd be water. I know. But 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 I wouldn't even know what direction to swim in because like I can't fucking see anything. Yeah. Oh God, it's so scary. And let alone when the water's that rocky, if you just yeah. rocky, that wavy, if you start swimming into land, it's probably gonna like slam you into the rocks. God. Did you see that, did you see that video? There's like a video on uh, TikTok where this guy's like he's like sailing by himself mm. and he's like in the middle of the ocean and it's like I can't even remember where it was. And yeah. it's like literally there's nothing around him. And I was like, that is the most terrifying thing ever. Yeah. Like you are by yourself in the middle of the motherfucking ocean. I know, honestly, guys, and we've, I've talked about this on the <laughs> podcast before. Like this guy, I don't know where they take. I don't know where they take their boat. I'm thinking it's like a lake or something. I can deal with that. A lake, I can deal with as long as I can see where the land is. I just there's something about that that gives me a, f- I guess, a false sense of security or that feeling like okay, I'm, well, I'll I be mean, okay. That, that is like a somewhat sense of security does yeah. make sense because then i'm like okay i know yeah. no matter what happens at least I can, you know where to go exactly i can like swim i can like do whatever but as soon as we go and the water's so fucking deep and you're in the ocean and you can't see this is why i'll never do a cruise i literally will never do a cruise like because i'm fucking scared and also i saw this tiktok about a cruise <laughs> where this person like was like you don't know what n- night darkness is until you go on a oh fucking yeah cruise. i've seen that as well and then they go on the cruise and then like hold their camera up and it's just like Black. Pitch black, literal black. And I'm just like, no, <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Not a fan. Like someone could say, hey, to, okay, well, maybe if someone offered me a million dollars, I would do it. But um, the chances are I will not do a cruise. I mean, if someone offered you a thousand dollars, you'd probably do it. No, I would. It would be more than a thousand. Oh, yeah. For sure. Just, just for a cruise to go on a cruise. Yes. Really? Yeah. If you said, Daniel, I'll pay a thousand. It's just like a three day cruise. Yeah, but in the deep ocean <laughs> waters. No, Rose, I'm not doing it. Oh, God damn, Daniel. My price is minimum 20, 20 grand. Okay. <laughs> I think you do it for five. Continue. I probably would. <laughs> five, yeah, okay, sure. All I, right. I'd, be, I'd be a cheap whore. But any, anyway, <laughs> anyway, guys, 
Um, be, you'd be cheap. Mm-hmm. I'd be a cheap whore. <laughs> five grand buys you a cruise. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, they got to pay for the cruise too, obviously. I mean, obviously. And giving me five Obby, grand. Yeah. So I'm risking my life to be with you on a cruise. So any cruise uh, sponsorships, just uh, yeah. bring them over. Five grand minimum. For five Gs, I will, uh, you know, <laughs> go on your cruise. Mm-hmm. And I'll post it to my, you know, 1,000 followers on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> but anyway, long story short, this guy's not, not the, the asshole. asshole. Everyone's commenting, not the asshole. No child should be allowed on board with oh should be allowed on board without being on a to- bore on a is board. that a is that a boat on oh, a boat with being told the rules if they can't follow the said rules they shouldn't be on the boat yes this is true everyone's saying not the asshole not yeah, the asshole a bore riding is it is, is it called a bore what's a bore no it's a boat i saw someone else riding a bore i don't know anyway whatever yeah this is like <laughs> anyway say la vie all right That's next it. one i already have one Am I You'd be the, fast as hell. Am I the asshole for calling my brother stupid and disrespecting his lifestyle? <laughs> so my brother is kind of a new age hippie type. Oof. <laughs> you are Oof. not the asshole. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Very free spirit. Likes to live off the grid. Mm. He has two kids. My nephews, Andrew, 10, and Jim, 15. They usually come visit me every other summer for a week, which I'm glad about because I don't see them that often. We were doing our typical things together, going fishing to the park for An- for Andrew. But I noticed something seemed off about Jim. He's laid back just in general, but he seemed quite even quieter. So Jim's one of the kids, the 15 year old. Okay, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> He's 15 though. So like, you know, yeah, that's like the time and they're going like, to be. That's their teenage moody. angst time. Yeah, they're, they're going to be moody as fuck. Anyway, <clears throat> he's laid were back. Were you a moody teenager, Rose? I was an angel. Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's laid back just in general, but he seemed even quieter. When we got home, I asked if anything was wrong and he said no. He was just tired and wanted to go to bed early. Mm -hmm. Next morning, the kid looked awful. Barely said anything, barely ate anything. Got the feeling the whole time he was trying not to puke. I asked him again if he was all right. Andrew started laughing and then Jim said it was one of his girl headaches. I'm like, what are those? And Jim kind of embarrassed said he's had them since he was young, but that as long as he drinks water, he'll be fine. Okay, so here's my guess. Here's my hypothesis about what's about to come. Mm. The dad doesn't take the kids to the hospital because he doesn't believe in modern medicine. And the kid is sick and he's not helping. That's my guess. Could be. Good guess. Let's see here. We tried to have a normal day, but Jim just kept getting worse. He threw up a few times. He must have some kind of vertigo or something. This is not normal. This is not normal. And that's when I called my brother. I told him to get over here. My brother did come, but he didn't seem too concerned once I explained the full situation. He said Jim just needed a dark room and something salty. I asked him if... I asked if him... Wait, I asked him if he'd ever gotten gym checked out. Just headaches shouldn't make him throw up. Maybe it's migraines or something. My brother said it's really only women who get migraines. What the hell? Mm -hmm. And that he'd rather keep gym free from hard chemicals. What did I tell you? Yeah. I said, man, you sound really stupid. What are we in the dark ages? My brother got offended and said, if I can't respect his lifestyle, he doesn't see any reason why he should trust me with his kids. He's expecting an apology and acting huffy. Now I don't want to lose my nephews over this. I love them. But I also don't think I was the asshole here. This is like more concerning than you being the asshole. Uh, yeah, this is more concerning. It's like, you know, <laughs> again, I, I we've talked about this in the podcast, guys. I'm not a proponent. I'm, I don't, I'm not like a, a proponent. I'm not an advocate for like, heavy medication and doing all these things like you know but sometimes it's like you do need to go and seek professional yes you know, advice not like, sometimes a lot of times yeah. it could be life-saving it could be a number of different things like there you know as as many flaws as there are with modern medicine and you know the over prescription of, of of pharmaceuticals there is a lot of benefits and there are things that 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 can that um Oh my God, I can't even talk. Uh, the doctors are able to like prescribe or like look into and they can be really, really crucial to somebody's life. Like this kid, like, you know, he's sitting, he's having these headaches, throwing up. I mean, it could be a brain tumor that could get surgically removed. Yes. It could be so many different things that you don't know. And that's where it's like modern medicine. Actually, like you do need to like do these checkups. And what's with this? Like only women get migraines I know, God, nonsense. Sounds, I, this is another thing I fucking <laughs> hate. I hate when people... Um, stereotype things for like people's genders you know like oh only females i mean there's are certain things like obviously only a woman's gonna get a period like i'm never gonna get a period (laughs) are you sure about that daniels well maybe i will (laughs) um (laughs) but like 
there's certain things where it's like you're not we're not gonna I'm not gonna experience it but then there's a lot of stuff where it's like don't marginalize people's experience like you know men can get migraines like well, that's just, it's just not scientific like why exactly. are you saying that men can't get migraines that's exactly. absolutely ridiculous I know that there's some guys that I've met in my lifetime that I, I personally have never had a migraine but like there yeah. are people that can get them I've, yeah. had, I've had bad headaches but I've never had a migraine thing how do God. we know what's the difference migraine and headache so I, from my understanding again so <clears throat> Like a bad headache is annoying. It's painful. But a migraine is like that feeling where like you can't be around bright lights. Like it's just everything is oh, fucked up. Right. You can sometimes throw up from it. It's like a severe headache. Like extreme. Extreme, extreme My headache. mom gets them sometimes. Um, She never started getting them until she like got older. Oh God. But she gets some like really intense migraines where she actually can't go to work. Like yeah, she it's can't not do like, anything. It's not like and me. And medicine like, doesn't even help. Exactly. Like I, I could get a headache. I could still probably do my job. It would be annoying and I'd have some pain. I just pop an ibuprofen. Yeah, an ibuprofen or an ibuprofen. Ibuprofen. Yeah. Or a uh, paracetamol. 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 God damn, Rose, where do you get these pronunciations? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> God damn, you'd be, you be thinking in French ibuprofen? these days. Ibuprofen. 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 <laughs> so, uh, what? So, oh, God. I mean, obviously, everyone's saying not the asshole. Yeah. Um, your brother can have a preference for avoiding chemicals, but mocking and ignoring potential migraines or possibly worse amounts to child abuse. This is the thing. Yeah. This is like to the point where you could probably intervene as some kind of. Yeah. This is the problem. Okay. Fucking. What's the problem, Rose? Tell us. <sighs> People that have children that have no business raising children and then we are just supposed to sit back and be like oh you're the father so you have the right to decide what's best, what's for, the best for this child when really like i get it to so on certain things i understand mm. but this is bo- this is definitely some level of child abuse when yeah. you are not looking into a medical issue so we should be people should be able to intervene if it is hurting the child mm-hmm. like why should we have to like why why is it only like oh like if someone's like hitting a child that's like abuse yeah. you know what i mean like it's kind of ironic too like you you make a good point like how the mother and father they're the the mother and father of the child but for some reason we as a society and this is true time and time again they're like the mother and father know what's best for the child like no, no matter they what don't. and 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 this is where i'm getting to yeah. it's like they don't necessarily like why are we saying that two people cuz i i can put my hand up and say you know what I don't know much about medication. I don't know much about a lot of things in the world. Yes. You can't know everything as one person, right? Even as a couple, like if me and Rose were a couple and we had a fucking child, like who's to say that we're the, that we are going to know all the answers. Mm-hmm. We don't. And we can't sit here to say, Oh, in this situation, I know exactly what's the best for my child. Well, no, actually I don't. I'm not a licensed yeah. medical professional. I'm not a X, Y, Z. Like we can try our best and do things. And, but that's why we have resources available such as, you know, doctors and teachers mm-hmm. and all of these other people, because again, Rose is one of Rose's favorite quotes is it takes a village. <laughs> is that one of my favorite quotes? Yeah. It takes a village. Well, I don't know child. if it's your favorite quote, but <laughs> you've definitely said it multiple times on this well, podcast. It's a very well, well, uh, well known quote, Daniel. Yes. <laughs> and it does like, listen, like we do not know everything. Like it's impossible. We're never going to know everything. It frustrates me when like, yeah, it's like, I feel like, like we think, Oh, as long as the parent says, oh, well, this is my child. So I can like, you know, I know what's best for my child. No, you fucking don't. Mm. You fucking don't. It's the same thing with like homeschooling kids and stuff. Mm. I'm just like, dude, how do you like, do you even know fucking math? Do you even know how to fucking teach science? You are not qualified to teach your kids shit. Also controversial opinion here about homeschooling. And I'm sure there's a lot of homeschooled people. If you're listening to the podcast, I mean, I'm sure y'all, a lot of y'all turn out great. (laughs) Um, if you're listening to the podcast, you are one of the good ones. Exactly. <laughs> um, but uh, it's interesting because like, I remember there was like a couple of homeschooled kids that ended up at my uh, my junior high because they like stopped being homeschooled and then right. they integrated them into the system, whatever. Really? Yeah. And honestly, they were like so socially awkward. Ugh. They were just like, and I was like, you know, there's something to be said, like going to school isn't just about learning the education yes. system. It's about integrating into society, whether we like it or not. And also it's about being social with your peers and learning. Yes you know, social cues, reading body language, like, you know, all of this stuff that's so, so important as you get older. I think that's the mo- the majority of it. Yeah. It's like less about the curriculum and yeah. more about, yeah, like how to deal with other people, yeah. how to socialize. How to deal with stress. How, exactly. How to deal with stress, how yeah. to deal with responsibilities, yeah. getting things done. You're right. That's a good point because if you think about it now, like there's not like, you know, if you went back to my schooling, like in social studies, learning about all the different fucking, you know, yeah. Canadian history. Do I remember half Would of we it? pass... 
would we pass that? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Maybe not. Probably not. Exactly. We might not have all those <laughs> things, but you're right. It's the fundamentals that they teach us that help us integrate into society, get jobs mm. later, do all that stuff. I mean, knock the education system as much as you want, but I think it's it's important. And I just feel like homeschooling, it just, by keeping kids at home and not having them out with their peers and all yes. this other stuff, it's going to stunt their their social growth. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And, I, I'm, and I'm only speaking because guys, I, ha- <laughs> I did meet a bunch of like homeschoolers in my junior high. Like yeah. there was like a few people, I right. think it was in grade seven, there's a few people that joined and then randomly in grade eight, we had a couple other homeschoolers join. And they were all weird. And they're all like, I don't want to say weird. They're just like, they were socially, very socially underdeveloped. Awkward. Yes. For, for yeah. like that old age, they felt like, I felt like they were like grade fivers or something. You know what I well, mean? Well, the thing is I did hear some, again, like I'm sure some sort, some type of homeschooling is fine. Yeah. But when they do interact with other kids that are homeschooled as well, yeah. then like, you know, and they have a lot of structure and maybe they follow like a specific curriculum. I don't know how it right. fucking works. Okay. Yeah. But you know, I think if you have a certain structure and you make sure your kids are socializing and all of the, these other things, it might be fine. But still it's like, again, it's like, there's a reason why people go to school to become teachers. Like there's yeah. a reason why they go through those you know, different pro, you know, processes to become a teacher exactly, and not you random fucking, you know, woman who has no education on this matter. But, but this is exactly it because it also, some of the fundamentals that they teach teachers is to learn to adapt curriculum to different learning styles. Mm-hmm. And like, there's a lot more than just how to build out the curriculum, how to like manage, how to make interactive. And they, they like a big part of teaching is lesson planning and, and getting all these different methods that could work for, for different yeah. kids. I wouldn't even have the fucking slightest clue how to do this. Right. You, there's a, like you said, there's a reason that people go to school to become a teacher, mm-hmm. you know, like, and I'm not, I, I love how we went on this homeschooling tan- I know, God tangent damn. when it has nothing to do with that. I'm definitely not an advocate of homeschooling. Yeah. I'm also very anti homeschooling. But, sorry, you know. sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. So anyway, what about this? this, uh, this oh person? God. Well, obviously, I mean, not the asshole. Yeah. Like, you know, everyone's saying not the asshole. This is not just a lifestyle. It's outdated yeah. opinion wrapped in misogyny. I've never even heard of this. How like only women get fucking migraines. Know, oh my God. Maybe it's like this belief that like, oh, men are strong. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't get migraines. Like, you can just tough it out with well, some that's fucking... Why he was, why he was saying in the thing, he was like, oh, he's just getting one of his girly headaches. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, he, so he's teaching his kids yeah. that like, oh yeah, this is just a girly. It's only for women, like Toxic girls. Toxic masculinity. Oh, anyway, it's so finest. disgusting. You want to pick one? Yeah, pick one already. Oh, you picked one already. Oh, Lord Jesus, we're going to talk about Jesus. We're going to talk about <laughs> Lord Jesus, guys. We're going to talk about Jesus. For one of the first times on this podcast, we're going to talk about Jesus. Oh, God damn, Daniel. God damn. I, I like to talk about Jesus. God damn, Jesus All Christ, our day. Savior. So... <laughs> Am I the asshole, guys, for telling my friend to stop forcing Jesus on me because of her ridiculous level of Christian? Not the asshole. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Not the asshole. So, a little caveat here. Throwaway account and fake names, okay? I, 18 female, am friends with this girl, Jessica, 18 female, in the same friend group in high school. Jessica is a devout Christian and goes to a Presbyterian church every Sunday for Mass. I have no problem with this, and it was nice to see that she was able to live a happier life because of her Christianity. Her religious expression was very normal and nuanced at first. She would do things like wearing a cross necklace, adding Bible verses in her socials. Um, The issue came when she would show up at our lunch table with a Bible and kept reminding us about how God is great, etc. The last straw came when she had made a separate Instagram account dedicated to making posts about the Bible and telling people how to live a holy life. She'd even tried to make her own Christian podcast at one point. At one lunchtime, she told us she was ranting about how offensive it was for people to wear things like cross jewelry when they weren't even Christian and how egregious... <clears throat> Jesus Christ Superstar, one of my favorite <laughs> musicals was. I've never even heard of that. Me neither. I guess it's like, probably like Book of Mormon or something. Maybe. maybe, yeah. I told her that while religious beliefs were fine, me and my friends were frankly getting sick and tired of her bringing Jesus, God, and the Bible into every single conversation, as well as on her social medias. I also further reminded her that recontextualizations of the Bible were perfectly fine and that the musical was a medium to explore the humanity of Jesus because, frankly, he is human like us. Jessica got offended and looked at me coldly before responding with, are you suggesting you're better than Jesus? <laughs> I got sick and tired of her at this point and, and said to her sarcastically, look, 
Jesus loves you, but he wants you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> like that's something you would say, Rose. <laughs> oh my god! I then got heated in the moment and told her that her level of devoutness was extremely ridiculous. Before telling her that she didn't need to make her Christianness, her Christianness, her as her entire personality. I also bluntly told her it seemed like she <clears throat> was subtly suggesting she was better than the rest of us because she practiced her Christianity a lot. We need to come back to that point. Mm. Jessica hasn't talked to me since then. And I'm wondering if I did overstep a little bit. My friends agree with me saying that Jessica's behavior was extremely weird and that she was a hypocrite. Meanwhile, my inner self is feeling conflicted. I feel like the sarcasm swearing was stooping down to her level. So Reddit, am I the asshole here? What do you think, Daniel? Not the asshole. (laughs) Okay. uh, Partially the asshole. (laughs) Not. Okay. They're 18. So I'm keeping that in mind. Yeah. They're quite young. So I feel like maybe not the best at explaining certain things. If she, okay, here's my thing. If I had, first of all, if I had a friend like this, goddamn, I'd I'd do a slow fade away (laughs) or maybe a very quick fade away. You you do a quick, you're good at the ghosting Rose. Although they they wouldn't be friends with me because I'd be the devil. (laughs) (laughs) But basically I, I think what's out of line is being like, oh, you know, here's the thing you could just be like listen it's fine that you're christian i think it's great you could do whatever you want in Mm. your own life if you believe in that that's fantastic and also i think it's fine if she wants to post about it on her social media exactly social media that part i was like okay yeah like that's you can post about whatever the fuck you can fucking mute someone you can you can mute their post you don't have to see their post you can scroll through their post that's not a big deal like they're allowed to post whatever they want okay of course so that part you're a little bit of an asshole because you're like just kind of like you know like just fucking mind your own goddamn business yeah um but if they were preaching to me and keep talking to me about fucking jesus yeah i'd be like okay we don't want to talk about jesus yeah you believe in jesus that's fine I don't believe in Jesus or whatever. I don't know what, whatever this person believes in. Yeah. I don't want to talk about Jesus all the time. Yeah. Okay. Let's talk about Buddha. Let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about anything else. Let's talk Literally. about, you know, and again, I think that she made a really good point about how you don't need to make that your whole personality. And like, it's interesting because like my own personal experience, I have a few friends that are very religious. Right. And never once has this been an issue. It's not mm-hmm. been an issue because they're, you know, I don't want to say human about it, but like they have their beliefs. That's their beliefs. They don't push it on me. They don't push it on other people. That's just what they do. And I think that's a really great way. And that's when I really respect religion. And I'm like, you know what? That's great. You do you. I'm going to do me over here. But what is so interesting is the point where she said, because I've also met other people on the other side Mm. who I'm not friends with or never became friends with for a number of reasons. But a big one is I feel like quite often people that are super religious Mm -hmm. and they're making it everything about them and they're constantly talking to you about the Bible and doing all this stuff they have this air about them that they, f- that it feels like, and maybe they don't feel this, but it feels like to me that they think they're better than me mm. because I haven't found Jesus or I haven't found what they found. Yeah, 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 definitely. And they're thinking, you know what? You're less of a person because you haven't done this. You know, <laughs> well, I would just laugh at their face. No, no, I know, but I'm just but saying yeah, that, that definitely, they definitely have. Yeah. That. Cause I, I, I actually had a friend. Well, I don't want to say friend. It was like more of an acquaintance that I met through traveling and everything yeah, else yeah. was a very, very religious person. Um, didn't drink, didn't have coffee, like mm. a bunch of things. And Mormon. W- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and basically. It's very obvious when you say they didn't have coffee. Oh, okay. Well, mm. I, maybe I shouldn't have. Uh, you be know. a Mormon? Yes. There, there'd be a lot of Mormons out there. Mm-hmm. They definitely not listen to this podcast. So don't no, you they're worry. Not. And <laughs> the interesting thing was, is like this person, I always felt like when we were hanging out and because she was like in this group with uh-huh, all of us. Uh-huh even though she never specifically said it, you just felt like she kind of felt like she was better than everyone else. Yeah. yeah. She was Mormon. She believed in this. All of us are lost. She was judging you. Yeah. Yeah. And I felt that and it made me not like her. It made me like, you know what? I don't like this. Whereas I, on the other spectrum, again, I have other friends that are actually very religious, go to church, do all this stuff. Never once has it been an issue. Right. So it really, it depends on the person, but I think, you know, this would be really challenging. I think the reason I said she's slightly the asshole is she maybe they're 18 though. Right. But yeah, yeah. they could have maybe handled it in a better, better way. Maybe taking her aside when, when not all the friends are there, you know, cause that's yeah. kind of embarrassing and say, look, Jessica, I get it. You love Jesus and I don't want to judge you for it. I think it's great that you're, mm-hmm. you know, religious and everything, but I'm not. And I don't want you to constantly be putting this in my face. Cause I like you as a person. I still want to be friends with you. Yeah. Let's just like keep that, you know, like you can still talk about it and stuff, but don't push it on me. Yeah. I think that's better. I think that would have been better. Yeah, but they're 18. Sure. Like, would I have done that at 18? Exactly. Maybe not. Yeah, I probably yeah, would have blown yeah. up as well, you know? Yeah, exactly. You're, so, you're all like, Rrr. Hormones are raging. Hormones are raging. You know? Let's see what people say. 
<laughs> Jesus loves you, but Jesus wants you to shut the fuck up. God, this should be the tagline for the evangelical rhetoric for, of the next presidential election. Not the asshole. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hell. Seriously. Jesus loves you, but Jesus wants you to shut the fuck up. And that's that's truth. Talent. That'd be a line. <laughs> Sassy line Jesus so needs to be the thing right now. <laughs> uh-huh. it won't happen. So this is another comment, guys. Won't happen. These kind of people are people pick and choose which verses to say mm. that supports their current argument. I'm not overly religious. I have been told some I've I've been told somewhere in the in the Bible it says homosexuals are sin. Homosexuals is a sin, and there is a line about God. There is also a line about God loves everybody. So which one is it? It's all hypocritical. And the Bible was written by a man, rewritten several times, mm-hmm. again by a man, mm-hmm. and interpretations. There's an old joke about a monk. Uh, about a monk was to rewrite the rewrite the entire <laughs> Bible. You, I, you read I can't. This person's <laughs> rewrite the Bible to make more copies. Oh, it says to celebrate, not celibacy. <laughs> I don't know. So not the asshole, I think, is the verdict here. Yeah, I think I'm making, I'm making a, a shirt. T-shirt. <laughs> they only they only become religious assholes because no one calls out calls out for their shitty behavior mm. an original poster not the asshole you're doing the lord's work <laughs> i'm loving the comments under this one i know and it's, it's funny because i do feel like guys like again this isn't everybody but some people that practice religion they'll like be very judgmental on certain aspects but then it's like they're they're so devout but yet they'll do other things that are not in line with it but it's okay because they follow jesus you yeah, know yeah, and i'm yeah. like you can't, oh, ha- God. You can't so, have your cake yeah. and eat it too. Like stop being a fucking hypocrite. It's exactly Seriously. like this. Some of the most awful people that I've like just seen and mm. even in the public. Yeah. Just c- call themselves religious because yeah. they think I truly believe. Okay. This is my controversial take. Controversial take okay? guys. Hot take. <laughs> Hot take. I truly believe not everybody. There's obviously a lot of religious people out there mm. and a lot of them are great and a lot of them are fine. It's perfectly fine. But I think some people. Mm they are bad people or like they have bad thoughts or whatever. Like they're selfish, like whatever, all these fucking things. Yeah. And they just think just because they go to church that they become a good person. Yeah. And it absolves okay? them of everything. You believing in a higher power in a God that's going to put you in heaven or hell or put you in heaven does not make you a good person. Okay. Yeah. That's you trying to uh, escape hell. That's mm. what you're trying to do. That's literally what you're trying to do. So it's almost like selfishness. It, it It's literally selfishness. Yeah. And these people are always going to sit there and be like, oh my God, some of these people will sit there and be like, if you're an atheist, you have no morals. I'm like, actually, no, because I still live by morals, even though I don't believe in heaven or hell. Yeah. And you are the one that is like believing in this stuff because you think you're going to go to heaven. Because you, you want to go to heaven exactly. instead of hell. And you can't fathom a situation where people would behave morally if there was no threat of hell. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do think it does attract, again, not everybody, but it attracts a lot of people mm. that are just afraid of going to hell. Like that's lit- That is the biggest selling point of religion. You will not convince me otherwise. Yeah. If there was no threat of heaven or uh, there was no threat of hell yeah. and no promise of heaven there'd be much less religious people. Exactly. I want to read these two comments. I think they're kind of okay. funny. <clears throat> so the first one is, I got myself banned from the local church by telling <laughs> the priest straight to his face that God doesn't like people with inflated egos <laughs> or who tried to use his word for their own gain. The priest the, the priest was the most obnoxious and crooked person mm. I've ever met up until that point. Mm-hmm. Again, reemphasizing that point. Yeah. The other one is, this is quite funny. I got banned because I pointed out God performed the first gender reassignment when he turned a dude... <laughs> a dude bone into a woman groan <gasps> <laughs> and then it, and then it goes after i quit going to church i made sure that i kept up on bible verses just so i could use them against the hypocrites another favorite of mine was pointing out how old the old testament oh. provides instructions on how to perform abortions what god the book is I, I fucked guys like it again is, it's actually fucked and, and it's crazy because again i think like a lot of a lot of people uh, will again pick and choose things out of the Bible. There's verses again. The Bible was written so long ago. There's things about not eating self, uh, shellfish. Yeah, not eating shellfish. It's like not not doing certain things. If you uh, cheat on your spouse, it's like you're supposed to be stoned to death. Yeah, how like, many, all how of this many stuff. people cheat on their spouse? Exactly. And I'm like, and how many people are religious people that cheat on their spouse? Exactly. Like, come on. Like, 
It's, yet, yet they pick and choose. Oh, gay people. That's that's yeah. not allowed. Even though God says you should love everyone like exactly. your neighbor. It's oh, but just not ridiculous. gay people. Not the homosexuals, guys. Yeah. Oh, anyway, it's goddamn, cr- that'd be a tangent and oh, a half. Makes me furious. <laughs> <laughs> we need a full episode on the religious uh, stuff. We do. Okay, my turn. God damn. Is it my turn? Mm. Yeah. Am I the asshole? I already picked one, Daniels. God damn, there'd be some good ones this today. Mm-hmm. Am I the asshole for not inviting my sister to my wedding? Because she always steals the spotlight. Mm. Lord Jesus. I, 28 female, have always had a difficult relationship with my older sister, 30 female. She has always been the popular and charismatic one, while I'm more introverted. At every family event, birthday, or party, she always manages to draw all the attention to herself. She makes jokes, tells the most interesting stories, and people just love her. Mm. Oh, no. (laughs) This has always made me a bit jealous, but I never really voiced it. I'm now engaged. My wedding is in a few months. My fiance and I decided to have a small intimate ceremony with only our closest friends and family. When I was making my guest list, I realized that I didn't want my sister there. I just want one day where I'm the center of attention without her stealing the show. When my parents found out that I didn't invite her, they were furious. They said I was being... selfish and childish and that I would emotionally hurt my sister. My sister called me crying and asked why she wasn't invited. I honestly told her that I just wanted one day where I got the attention. (laughs) She hung up and hasn't spoken to me since. Now I feel guilty and wonder if I made the wrong decision. Am I the asshole? Oh, this is a This was a bit tough. That is tough. That's really tough. If I, if they had a bad relationship, then I would understand. For sure. Right? Because it's like, okay, you guys don't get along. Don't invite someone to your wedding that if you're not getting along. Exactly. But it just kind of sounds like she's just a little jealous of the sister. I know. And this is the thing because it doesn't sound like her sister deliberately does stuff. Yes. Her sister that just would sound, also be different. Exactly. It sounds like she's an outgoing person. She's probably Tells lived Tells funny jokes. Exactly. She's lived an interesting life. She has lots of stories to tell. <laughs> sounds like me or you at a party. Yeah. You know, I'm just like, I relate. We're like, we're like woohoo. Yeah, we're like, woo. <laughs> we're not like there to God steal damn. the limelight. So, so if we don't get invited to a wedding, that might be why. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, Rose, we both know we still get invited to weddings. Oh, goddamn, Daniels. Okay, we get invited to too many weddings, God okay? Goddamn, sometimes. Yeah. There's a, one year I did like seven. Oh, goddamn. That'd be enough. Goddamn. I'd be, du- I'd be done. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's a tricky one. And again, it's like, it's tough because it's like, it's your sister, you know? Like Yeah. And like, I mean, does she really think the sister, I mean, we don't know the sister, okay? Yeah. But like, does she really think the sister's going to steal the spotlight on her wedding day though? And exactly. Even, even if her sister was telling stories and stuff or whatever at the wedding, it's like, it's still her wedding. Like she is the center of attention. Like yeah, the yeah, bride yeah. is always the center of attention. Like, I don't know. What do you think? Is she an asshole? Like semi? Like, I don't know. I think it's semi asshole. Semi asshole. If they were like fighting and her sister was yes. a bitch and all this stuff, and then the I'd be like, sure. Deliberately like fucking yeah. going to wear white to the wedding or something crazy. Exactly. A white with a, with a, with yeah, a, with a headdress. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it just sounds like she literally just, Happens. it's just an outgoing. She's a charismatic person, person that people are drawn to. Yeah, and like yeah. that's kind of shitty for you to not invite your own sister. Ooh. Like I know it's her wedding, and she does have the right to invite whoever she wants. Mm-hmm. But like I don't know, it's a little, it's a bit of an asshole move. A bit of an ass. I, I, I I'm really curious what people are gonna say though. We might be unpopular with this one, Daniel. Let's unpopular see. Unpopular opinion. Let's see. Oh, you're the asshole. Okay, we're not unpopular. Yay. No. Well, we said some. Like I do feel for her a little bit. Of course. So, of course, anyway. that's tough. So. Yeah, first comment. You're the asshole. Yes, you can invite whoever you want to your wedding. I know the rule. Yeah, so we're acknowledging that as well. But hear me out. You're not talking about a sister who willingly steals the spotlight or wants the attention focused on her. You're just talking about a sociable sister who's loved. You're insecure. You need to work on yourself. Yes, your sister isn't the problem here. She's just her fun, outgoing self, not an attention-seeking egomaniac. You've excluded your sister for her personality. That's a good point. Yeah. Not for any malicious acts on her part. Exactly. And that's saying. hurtful. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It would be like me saying, Rose, I don't want you at my my party because you're too expressive uh, and you laugh too much. I'm so charming and I'm so funny and, and I'm so interesting. And you suck the laugh out of the room. <laughs> Not suck the laugh. You you become the center of attention. I'll be the center of attention. And I want it to be on me. <laughs> Um, let's see. You're the asshole. Even if you never, ever wanted her to invite her in the first place, you should have discussed it with her without letting her. Oh, God. I don't know what just happened mm. there. Mm. Oh, God damn. Where, where it be? God damn. Where, I don't it froze. Know. It froze. It, it, it froze frozen. a beat. Okay. Let me see here. 
I, it kind of changed the comments. I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So yeah, a lot of people are saying you're the asshole. So mm. someone said you're the asshole. If she was the type to intentionally steal the spotlight, right. like if she was going to announce a pregnancy at your wedding, exactly. Yeah. Then you wouldn't be the asshole, but she's just a really cool person that people like being around and you are envious of her. Get over yourself. <laughs> wow. Wow. So like it's, um, has original poster done an update or anything? No. Wow. Uh, but everyone is saying you're the asshole. Okay. So we, apparently we were too popular opinion. Yeah. We were too, uh, not harsh. Yeah. We were but too I do, ag- I, I, nice. do, I do agree again. Like there's no malicious intent there from the sounds of it. Yeah. It's not like it's a deliberate, it's just more, that's her personality. Like some people are just like they're, I've met people like this in life. There's some people that just light up a room. People are yeah. drawn to them. They're very charismatic. Like, that's no fault of theirs. They're not doing that intentionally to like fuck yeah. shit up. And you this know? is your sister. Come I know, and, on. And it's your sister. Like that's it's a little thing. different if you have a friend that you're not that close to. Yeah. That might be, you know, like very charismatic and like very you over know, the top, whatever. And people like them and you're like, oh, maybe I shouldn't invite her. Like, you know, yeah. I kind of want to be. It, that's a little different. It's like, this is your fucking sister. Like mm. you get one wedding. Anyway. Oh, I mean, hopefully. I don't know. And, yeah. Everyone's <laughs> one, like, one, maybe two, maybe three Everyone's weddings. like, you're the asshole. Like you're pretty much not inviting your sister to your wedding because she's more outgoing and charismatic than you. I know. That's um, true. I find that incredibly silly and illogical. You are literally giving her attention by making a fuss over whether or not to invite her. Invite your damn sister to the wedding. Yep. <laughs> Agreed. That's great. There you go. All right, guys. Next go. one. Oh, God damn. There'd be a lot today. There is a lot. It'd be juicy sale. It'd be wedding season. <laughs> it, it is wedding season because this is a pre-wedding season. Because yeah, it says, season. am I the asshole for telling my sister's boyfriend to not propose to her. Oh, shit. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. I, 28 female, have a fraternal twin sister oh. who is dating my fiance's, my fiance's younger brother. Oh, wait a second. We got two sisters dating two brothers. Mm-hmm. Wow, that is a, that is interesting. Continue. On a note, though, I just want to, I want to, <laughs> I want to make a comment here because there was something funny that came up on my Facebook that I have to talk about. Oh, God damn. Would it be Daniels? I don't go on Facebook very often, guys. Like, if ever. God, I don't even remember the last time I, I know. was on Facebook. I was just like randomly uh-huh. and this post came up and it was like one of those like random posts. And I guess there's something in the U.S. like a, uh, what do you call it? Like a, a twin conference basically for identical twins. Oh, okay. So you like go to this like event and all identical twins go and like you meet other people that are identical twins. Anyway. These identical There'd twin be a lot sisters of going on in this twin conference. These, identi- <laughs> these identical twin sisters met these identical twin brothers. They got married. Sure. And they both had kids. Oh God. And the crazy thing is, is biologically their kids are the same. Are siblings because they have the same genetics, right? Like the exact same genetics. Right. So do the kids look the same? The, well, they would. So they only had one so far, but I was like, they're actually like technically brother and sister. Like, because... Interesting. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Because identical twins all have the exact same genetic makeup. Right. Because they were, like, taken so from... So, basically, they took two ident- two people, mm. and then they're both identical in genes, and then they they both had, had babies. kids. So, basically, two same pairs yeah. had kids. Yes. And now the kids are going to be the same. So yeah. <laughs> That's really interesting. It's crazy, right? Wow. So anyway, so this sounds anyway, a little different. Back to this. They're fraternal okay. twins as well, by the way, yeah, guys. So this is diff- different. That's very different. They so, have different genes. Exactly. Because you know how fraternal twins versus identical twins. Yeah. It's something about like how the egg uh, fucking. So from my understanding <laughs> is uh, identical twins are from one egg. And then it splits. That splits. Yes. Right. Fraternal twins. It means that two, two. eggs were released. Yes. And those both get. So they're still twins, but they're different like genetic makeup. Yes. Anyway. So these two fraternal <laughs> twins are dating two brothers who are not twins at all, but they're just like uh, brothers. Brothers, yeah. So her fiance and her, or her fi- my fiance and I are getting married in September. My sister has made several comments about how awful my new last name will be. She has also said um, similar things throughout her relationship. She told me that she could never marry her boyfriend because she just can't have this last name. What? Just don't change your fucking last name. I know. I told her that she doesn't have to take his last name. Yes. There are plenty of women who keep their maiden uh-huh. name when they get married for various reasons. She disagrees and said that she doesn't want to keep our maiden oh name, but she, but uh, because she wants a traditional marriage where she takes her husband's last name. Same. Then fucking shut the fuck up. Yeah. <laughs> Last weekend, she went with me to buy clothes for my honeymoon. While we we're out, I asked her, um, what if her boyfriend proposed to her? They've been dating for three years now, and my fiance told me that his brother was looking at engagement rings. Oh, I didn't no. I didn't tell her this, but simply brought it up in regular conversation since we were shopping for my honeymoon outfits, and she kept saying, I can't wait to try on a wedding dress one day, and the likes. 
she then she told me she would only uh, she would say only if you change your last name. I told her that was really selfish of her to give an ultimatum like that to somebody who loved her and wanted to marry her. She rolled her eyes at me. So I said, seriously, would you really turn him down because of his last name? What the fuck is his last name? <laughs> I know. <laughs> and she firmly said, yes, I just can't have that name. So I asked why she was even with him, knowing it won't lead to marriage. And she replied, I don't know. I just dropped it. Yesterday, her boyfriend came to hang out with my fiance and pulled up photos of rings to ask my opinion on which one my sister would like. I told him the truth. She won't marry him. That she will say no if he asks because of his last name. He asked me if she told me this and I said, yeah, I told him yes. He broke up with her today. I didn't tell her. He didn't tell her why, but my sister knows it was because of me. Now my aunt and uncle who raised us are upset with me and said that it's going to be really uncomfortable at my, at my wedding for everyone. But wouldn't it still have been if he had asked her and she said no? Should I have just let it play out? No, you should have told her. She, she did the right thing. Yeah. Okay. This I, is so fucking stupid. But like her sister sounds ridiculous. Like, her I'm, sister sounds so fucking ridiculous. I know. It's so annoying. I'm so sorry, guys. But like <laughs> if I'm dating somebody, first of all, if I'm dating someone, they've been together for three years. Yeah, you have a problem with his last name. You know that when you meet them. Like literally, you know that when you yes. meet them. If you are so fucked off about this last name, which is like the stupidest thing the dumbest I have thing I've ever, ever heard. heard in my entire <laughs> life, then fucking leave. Like her sister sounds ridiculous. Like I don't care what the fuck the person's last name is. If they're a good boyfriend, they're nice to me. Yes. All this stuff. What the fuck does it matter? You don't have to take their last name. Yes. So what? You want a traditional marriage? Well, you found a great guy. Well, I don't know if he's a great guy, but let's assume <laughs> yeah. you found a great guy fuck it you don't take his last name you keep your last name and move on exactly or like i mean there's so many other things like i don't even understand this i know I, like what is his last name like shit i know like, but, what but, is it but also she's like oh well she would only say yes only if you change your last name what the fuck is he supposed to change his last name to like you can't i mean i guess you could but like can you just like pick a last name and just like oh fuck why it. doesn't she change her last name and ask him to take her last name I don't know. I know. It's so stupid. Or like have this conversation. Have you not had this conversation? Like how long have you been dating? How long have you been dating? Three fucking years. You haven't had. Three years. Yeah. Did you even have a conversation about getting married? There's so many fucked up things over here. Okay. There's way too much. Did you talk about getting married? Because if you already had that conversation, then you should have talked about the last name thing. Also, like how fucked (laughs) up would I feel if I proposed to somebody and first of all, I'm not going to be proposing, though. Um, You're going to be proposed to. I get proposed to, you get guys. Proposed okay? to. <laughs> That'd be the reality of the situation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You ain't getting down on one knee. Mm-mm. Well, you might get down on two knees. Oh, my <laughs> God. Rose, PG Podcast. <laughs> God damn. Um, but accurate. Um, <laughs> so. Patreon content, okay. <laughs> this be this be a public episode. What are you talking about? I know. About? I'm saying this should be. I Patreon know. This content. is yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we should so, do a sexual one for the Patreon. Oh god damn, a sex campaign. Um, so what I was gonna say though is uh, how <laughs> upset I would be if I proposed to somebody and they the reason that they said no is not because they don't want to get married to me, not because of any of this situation, but because they hated my last name. Oh my god, it's so dumb. I would literally break up with that person exactly. right then and there. I'd Just like, for that reason, exactly. Alone. And then if they're like, no, 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 like let's, keep, I'll be like, no, I'd like. Like, literally this is dumb you have no like critical thinking skills yeah but then it makes me wonder what kind of person she is like if she's like so worried about a last name like what kind of person fixates on this exactly. thing that's so weird and why are you dating someone who you hate their last name anyway if it's such a big issue to exactly. you exactly why do you break no up sense. earlier like don't you want to like if you like, clearly she wants to get married someday yeah well even her sister said this to her she said why don't you like why why do you stay with him for so long and she's like i don't know like, oh my God, like there's so much wrong with the sister. Like, it's not even funny. Exactly. Like, ah, uh, it's crazy. Okay, let's read the comments. <laughs> like, I don't know. Someone's here. Oof, stuck between a rock and a hard place. I don't think there really, there was really a way to win in this scenario, especially if he's hoping to buy a ring and propose before your wedding. Yes. Maybe if you could have persuaded him until after the wedding, but then he may still have wanted to go ahead and buy the ring. I guess it's better for him to know that she wouldn't marry him because of the last name damn she's petty and clearly doesn't love him that exactly. much i feel like she's making excuses yeah, i think she doesn't like him that's the thing there's no way okay there's absolutely no way that this man like if she was fully in love with this man absolutely no way that that is the reason mm-hmm. the last name like what the fuck, what the fuck? it's crazy anyway it's people are saying crazy. not the asshole right yeah well, okay let's get a little bit because i hate when these are like comments i know on i want to get 
it's especially ridiculous because she didn't have to change her last yes! name and she didn't have to continue dating a guy that she couldn't see herself marrying for whatever reason. It's fine for her not to want to be Miss Cockbosom or whatever, <laughs> but like get your shit together, yes! girl. Yes, what is wrong with this woman? I know. And so many people You dragged this on for 3 years yeah. knowing, well, I mean, I assume she knew that he wanted to get married and yeah. she wanted to get married at some point. Why why waste yours and his time like Oh my God. But I also, I think you're right. I think the thing is she's copping out. There's something, she's not really in love with this guy. Yes. She's kind of dating. Cause you know, a lot of people do this guys. They just date for the sake of dating. They're not really into that person. I've seen it time and time again. And like it does, it sounds like she's just not really that into him. He's kind of like a placeholder for now. He's comfortable. It must be. It yeah. must be. And she's just using the last name thing as a cop out. So when mm-hmm. he does propose, you know, whatever. And then and she got pissed off that her sister said something. I know. Like, well, what do you want her to say? Like, fuck. Like, and then <laughs> this person, I like this. I'm sorry to like so many people are like I'm sorry to bring this up, but I'm curious what is this last <laughs> yeah, name that's made her so know. adamant that she wouldn't accept a proposal from her partner at year uh, for years of many years, like what last name is so bad that you turned down a marriage over it? My imagination <laughs> is running wild at the moment thinking about this. I don't mean to sound I'm, insensitive, but it's killing me not knowing. I'm the same. I want to know what this last name is. People just put like, I don't know, that somebody said, I had some neighbors that were last named Ding, Dimbat. Dimbat. I've always thought that Mr. Dimbat must be <laughs> one hell of a guy for Miss Dimbat to sign Wait, up for that one. Two neighbors in a block of flats were Lipschitz and Arsol. <laughs> I was the persecu- the prosecutor for unpaid land tax, and I had to read both out both names in court. I, I also once saw a posted letter at work to a woman called Fila Maboops. <laughs> <laughs> that has to be a joke. Oh, these are Fila all genuine non English surnames, but they were bad. <laughs> they were bad um, English ones. Listen again. You don't have to change your last name. Okay, that's not fucking mandatory. What are you doing? <laughs> Lip shits. Oh, God. And then someone says, I bet it's a completely normal surname and she hates it for arbitrary reasons. Exactly. Yeah. That's the thing. If it was like that insane, like I think the poster would have said, okay, so his last name is a little bad. Like I yeah. understand, but it still doesn't make sense why you would have marry someone because of their mm. fucking last name. What the fuck is going on here? Oh, uh, it's so stupid. <gasps> it's so dumb. so dumb. Like, like imagine finding, like I assume it's because if she's not in love with him. Yeah. But, like, let's say everything else was great. Like, imagine finding, like, this person that you think is amazing. And then you're like, "Mm, but your last name. Your last name sucks. It sucks. And uh, I don't want to be Mrs. uh, Fila my boobs. (laughs) <laughs> you don't want to be. You don't want to be feeling my boobs. I don't want to be lip shits and uh, <laughs> asshole. I don't want to be Mister Ben Dover. <laughs> <laughs> and on that positive and note, that, or Harrison, <laughs> middle name her, first name Harrison, middle name Mike, last name Hunt. Harrison Mike. Wait, wait. Let me. You want me to do it? Wait. Yeah. Harrison Mike Hunt. I remember there was like a thing at school when I was in grade school and there was like all these like random names that people would like just, Yeah, yeah, you know. yeah. <laughs> ben Dover was one of them. Oh, that's what ben I always Dover. remember. That's a yeah. classic. That's a classic. But that could be like a legit name like Benjamin yes, Dover. Uh, totally. You can just call me Ben Dover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and on that positive note. On that positive note, guys, thank you so much for listening mm-hmm. to this week's episode of Am I the Asshole? Am I the Asshole? And uh, lots of assholes in this episode. Oh, lots. Lots of assholes, uh, both uh, the original poster and the other people that they're dealing with. Mm-hmm. So uh, let us know down below if you are watching on YouTube. Uh, leave us a little comment. Let us know what you think of this episode, what you think of any of the stories we talked about today. Mm-hmm. And uh, what else, Daniels? Of course, check out our Patreon. Yeah. Patreon.com slash the savage podcast. You get exclusive content on there every single month, guys. All content's ad free and you get it a week earlier than everybody else. And yeah, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up. Follow us on the podcast platform. Give us a rating. Five stars. (laughs) Yeah. And enjoy the rest of your week, guys. Thank you so much for listening. We'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Bye.